New Jersey's Roman Catholic Church is urging its more than three and a half million members to say no in the voting booth. In a statewide campaign, the church is opposing embryonic stem cell research and asking its parishioners to oppose the $450 million referendum on Election Day. State House correspondent Jim Hooker reports. From the oldest parish in New Jersey to others around the state, the Catholic faithful are being called upon by their leaders to reject the Stem Cell Research Bond Act. The referendum is being pushed by Governor Corzine, legislative leaders, and a host of others who look to the initiative as a hopeful move toward curing disease, as well as a means of producing an economic boon built around the fast-emerging science of embryonic stem cell research. Okay, you guys got it? And while the governor and his allies on that front yesterday broke ground for a new stem cell research facility whose viability depends on the Bond Act, the Catholic Church is digging in against the initiative, its New Jersey bishops reaching out to their flocks to try to defeat it. From our perspective, any embryo, whatever its source, is a potential human life. Bishop John and Smith is helping the lead the charge against the initiative with what church it. leaders are calling an educational program. The church, for example, is distributing pastoral letters and this pamphlet in a letter to his 850,000 parishioners. The Trenton bishop says, quote, the Catholic Church can never support embryonic stem cell research since it requires the destruction of innocent human life. I ask everyone to pray that the people of New Jersey will vote against the funding. But we've just been trying to enlighten them as to what some of the issues are with the hope that people would be enlightened by the program and vote against it. The campaign is among the church's most ambitious in decades here, according to Smith, second perhaps in intensity only to its ongoing anti-abortion campaign. But sometimes in our zeal to heal the sick or relieve suffering, we lose our way. The ammunition employed by the church includes this DVD produced by the church's Knights of Columbus and shown at parishes around the state. It's also available on a specially created website opposing the stem cell initiative. Ads opposing the ballot question are also set to run on NJ Transit buses and a radio ad blitz is planned in central New Jersey. But it's just a different world communication wise and hopefully we are able to reach people uh, much more easily. It's not just the people who are there on Sunday morning. My concern is that there's going to be a small turnout statewide uh, between 25 and 28 percent, and this is an enormous issue. Assemblyman Neil Cohen was part of the driving force in the legislature behind pursuing embryonic stem cell research. Despite his concerns, he says he feels he's on solid moral and political ground. Those parishioners, they have families who are ill. They have families with Alzheimer's and diabetes and uh, those whose children have suffered crippling diseases, spinal cord injuries, um, their parishioners are looking for healing too. And the majority of them support stem cell research. I always am concerned when there is uh, thoughtful and careful opposition, which the church um, brings to bear from their perspective. I don't think that's... Um, the perspective of other clergy and other religions and other points of view. For his part, the bishop says election night should be an interesting one for watching returns, though he says he's not one for making predictions as to just how effective the church's push might be or whether it will lead to a defeat of the stem cell initiative at the ballot box. I feel good that we've made the effort. I'm very hopeful. Um, I, I just don't know. I'm not a prophet. I'm a bishop. Jim Hooker, NJN News, Lawrenceville.